Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to make this simple bottle cap. It's going to be a short video, very easy to follow along with. So follow along and see how you go. So we're going to start this off by having a look at our drawing. You can see over here it's got a 32 millimeter diameter. So we'll draw that, extrude it, and then we can put in a shell once we've done this chamfer of 0.7 millimeters. So I'm going to create a sketch on the top plane and C for center diameter circle, and we'll drag that out to 32 millimeters. Then we'll finish sketch. I'm going to extrude, we can push E for extrude. Then we don't have to go to the menu and this goes up 10 millimeters. And then we have the chamfer. So we're going to modify chamfer and we'll select this edge that was 0.7 mils. And then we're going to put in a shell over here. So we can click on shell. And I'm just going to make that two millimeters. It will adjust when we put the thread in. So there we go. We've got the beginnings of our bottle cap. Let's have a look at the drawing again. Over here we can see our thread is M30 by 1.56H. So that's just the, the naming um, convention for that. We'll go have a look for that in our thread tool. Just going to flip this up and we'll go over here to create, create and thread. And then we're going to select the face we want to put our thread on. We see there it's already got a standard size for us. I'm going to change that to 30. And over here the designation will have to change to 1.5 and the class is 6H. So we want a right handed thread, left handed thread would be going the opposite direction. If I click OK, we can see what looks like a image uh, stuck on there. We actually want it to be modeled. So if we want to fix that, we go into the thread menu and we click on modeled. Then what it's going to do is actually show us the cutout where the thread has been put. The reason you might not want it modeled is if you've got a whole bunch of screws and components, and they're just for reference. It's got to compute all of these uh, curves and cuts. So we're most of the way there now. Let's go back into our drawing. If we look on top over here, we can see we've got this little circle. You can see there it goes in half a millimeter and it's 1.8 millimeters in diameter. So we're going to draw that circle, extrude it down, and then we'll put in a 0.9 millimeter fillet too smooth it out. So I'm just going to reorient to the top. We'll go create sketch on our top face. C for center diameter circle or you can just click up there center diameter circle and we select our origin and I said that was 1.8. So we've got 1.8 finished sketch. Now we'll extrude this minus 0.5. So there we can see it's going in, but we know that that has a fillet on it. So if I go to fillet, I'll select that bottom face. Make sure you're selecting this face. And it would be half of 1.8, which is 0 0.9. And that'll give us a half round in there. All that's left now is to put the little ribs on the side. I can see over there, the ribs are half a millimeter wide and 0.2 millimeters deep. And they run up to this edge over there. So we'll draw that and then extrude. Create a sketch. I'll create it on this face over here. And we're gonna have a rectangle. So two point rectangle. This is obviously way bigger than I need. I'll just dimension this. So I know this is 32. So half of 32 is 16. So we can make this 15.8, then I know it's going in 0.2 moles. And this is 0.5. 
but I want this centered on that line. So I will just make this one against the origin. We'll make that 0.25. Now we can see it's centered there. These lines are all black. This one is still blue, which means it can be adjusted. So if you really want to uh, constrain it, we can just set um, a dimension for this line over here to say one millimeter. And there we go. Let's finish sketch. Now I want to extrude this profile up to that line. I'm going to click extrude, select this profile. You can select that one as well. And it's going up to that line, which is 9.8 or 9.3. So it's 10 up to there and this is 0 0.7. So we'll go, I can see the arrows pointing down. I'm going to say minus 9.3 so that there we go we can see it takes us to that line and there's one of the little slots now we're going to put a circular pattern on that so i'll go create over here pattern circular pattern i'm going to do is select a feature so you can choose body face feature component we want to select a feature because then we can choose from our timeline here this extrude you're going to select the axis so you can select any of these uh, circular axes and on my previous one when i practiced it i did 80. so you can change that number say if we put in 40 you'd see the spacing is a lot wider but i'm going to make that 80 so i'll just double click go back in there and we'll set that to 80. and there we have it finishing touch i just want to add a bit of color to that so i could either right click on it and go to appearance or i can push s for shortcut menu and type in appearance and then it'll bring it up over there so in the shortcut menu you can look for any feature you want i'm just going to type in red because i want to make it red um, we'll make it this translucent matte red let's download that quick and then we can just drag it and drop it. Make sure you drop it on the body. If you drop it on the face, it'll just do the one face. So you see, make sure the whole body selected. We'll remove it from that face. And there it has applied it to the whole body. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. If there's anything you'd like to see, uh, send me an email. It's in the description, um, fusionfundamentals at gmail.com. If you want this technical drawing, there will be a shortcut or there will be a, a URL link to it in a Google Drive folder. Until next time, bye.